Mike and I have road tripped it, have permission to hunt this house right here, have permission to hunt the far one back there in another little field. We're in a known Civil War uh, battle area, and he just popped the first good find of the day, which is a 1954 Rosie. So, first, uh, is that your first coin today? First one. Excellent. And I've still yet to find a coin, but I've got enough nails I can melt down to go. make a coin. So Just build a house with them. Yeah, I'm running the 705 today while the CTX is on its way to be repaired. So hopefully we can find some stuff. There's something down there, but I just don't know where it is. And we'll keep going. Made my way. Uh, I'm next to the church, which is over here. The old house, which is right here. Built 1901. There's an old wall back up there. But this right here, guys, is why you wear gloves while you metal detect. That is a Thunderhead 125, I believe. Maybe not, but... Anyway, someone target practicing, I'm hoping, because I don't think there'd be any deer in this area. About three inches deep, though. So, we'll keep trying. Okay guys, this is pretty cool. I got to the back side of this tree over here and uh, only a couple inches down, which is a good sign, but I've got this uh, cut up chauffeur's license for the state of Missouri. And it's got part of the number on. I'm going to check and see if I can't find a little bit more. wasn't sure what it was at first. I got, got to cleaning it up and I saw the part there that's chauffeur. So that's what we've got. So we'll keep going. Okay, still trying to get the hang of this 705. This is its maiden voyage with me. But pulled up a uh, little hot rod car, drag, I don't know, a Formula, Formula One car, I guess is what that would be. Made in China. We'll keep looking all day today. Okay, just starting down the side of the house here and uh, popped another old compact. Not sure if you can read it or not. It says, actually, I can't read it 100%. PLA something. I don't know. Almost looks like Phyllis in a way, but I don't think it is. Let me get it in the shade and see if it makes a difference. Nah, I don't think you can read it anyway. We'll clean it up. We'll show up more in the wrap up. Okay, I'm planting off the front corner of an old church, and uh, you can see I got into some fill dirt, it looks like, but down below there, I just popped, I'm not sure what it's from, it's an old door handle, old time door handle, a little rust on the bottom of it, still trying to learn the 705, so we'll just keep going. Okay, I'm out front of the church and I uh, got a signal. It's way down there, kind of in my sidewall, around a bunch of roots out here by this tree in front. And I just popped my first wheat scent. And it is, I believe, a 1919, either an S or a D, because there is a mint mark. So we'll keep going. Had to go way up under some roots. Right back over there. I pulled out these three pieces. There's more in the hole. I'm just not going for them. But some pretty ornate metal work there. Not sure what it's to, but we'll keep searching. All right, as you can see, I have been all over in this hole trying to find whatever it was. It wound up being, I had to recut my plug. And it's right here, a little coin ball right here. It's looking the size of a quarter, but I almost think it's too thin. It's not silver, because it's not looking that way, but I thought we'd expose it together. Boy, it is a quarter. It's kind of slicked, but it's an older one, I can tell. Fairly old, anyway. get it off. Uh, well, maybe it's not old. Maybe it's just a 1990. Boy, it sure looked old. I can't tell. 18, 1980 maybe, but it's a quarter. That's my second quarter. 
So get a couple more and I might be able to get a sleeve of crackers at the convenience store. Woohoo! Smith's Pride right there. Nice little button. About three inches deep in that hole, so we'll keep going. Okay, I'm across the road from the church, uh, heading to the backyard, actually he headed to the old clothesline, which I know that's not a real old clothesline, but anyway, I got a signal right here on the uh, on the 705, and thought it was going to be a dime, but man, it is a sweet Tootsie toy. Look at that baby. Don't want, know what model it is, but the paint's in pretty good shape. I'll have to look it up when I get home, but... Man, if you've followed my videos, you know I'm on cloud nine with the Tootsie Toy Find. Love them. And we'll just keep going. About to take a lunch break, and then we'll go again. That's a bucket lister there. Not. Someone lost their drugs. Oh, well. Just over the counter. Okay, Mike and I aren't super far from a cave here that was used, they said, during Civil War times. It used to lead quite a ways till it uh, fell in. And I'm um, hunting just off from that cave just a little bit. And I just popped this. I'm not sure if it has any Civil War significance or not, but pretty cool little buckle of some sort. Anyway... Almost lunchtime, so we'll take a break here in a bit and get after it again. I'm really stressing right now. Because I don't know if I just found a six or a nine. Six. Nine. I don't know. I'm going to throw it away. I can't stand it. Mike has joined me in the backyard, and he just really couldn't wait for lunch, so mm. he dug him a monstrosity of a spoon. And uh, it's copper, you say? I think so. It's green. It Maybe brass or something. It's... Yeah, it rang up like it, though, didn't it? Yeah. We're trying to finish up this back spot back here before we go on uh, and grab lunch, so we'll keep going. All right, I got the call over from Mike. He's always wanted to be just like me. And he dug him a sweet Tootsie toy. I haven't gotten that one before either. That's cool. That is a sweet Tootsie toy. Awesome. Good job, buddy. All right, man. You know, there's those guys that have the business where they find rings for people. And I have just come to the conclusion that it doesn't matter what machine I use. I'm always going to find keys. Maybe I should start a key business. These kind of look old. Like old master locks, maybe. I can't tell. Probably four inches deep, maybe five. Ring up pretty good, though. Anyway, and I tell you what, at the club meeting, I am going to have a ton of keys to display. Anyway, about done. Headed to the truck. You can see I'm almost there, so gonna eat some lunch. Okay, Mike's got to come and check out what I just dug. So I come to the base of this tree. There's a bunch of junk out there. It's a new place we're at. And I come over and I get a 42-44 signal on the 705. And of course, me being new to it, don't know what it is. Stick my shovel in and pop it. And this is what just popped out. I thought, it, I thought at first it was a cannonball, but I think it's a light of some sort. It is. An old light. <laughs> My cat sucker popped up like that, and I thought, ooh, cannonball. Mm. That's cool. <laughs> anyway, cool light. Yeah, it's an old handle hand light, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Or maybe it even mounted on a rig, who knows. But, golly, now i got to tote it out. Oh, well. Out there? Trash. Yeah, so. a bunch of trash. Anyway, this is probably going to do it for this hunt. And I thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. 
and I'd like to welcome you to today's wrap up. Man, I'll tell you this much, to have hunted as hard as Mike and I did all day, and this is the brunt of what we found. Now, I will preface it right out of the chute with Tootsie Toys are in a display already, and uh, the little Formula One car, my son confiscated. He says he has the right, so... If you look at it, I only dug two clad quarters, two dimes, 12 pennies, and that's it. Here's this chauffeur's license badge, which is pretty neat. Not in great shape. Actually, look, a lot of this stuff looked better coming out of the hole. Um, just odds and ends, metal pieces that blow your ears off. Uh, a lot of people, these resistors are, uh, what are they called? Uh, anyway, they ring your ear up your ears off this little tractor right here I was gonna wait till I had it here to see if we could read what it says inside my eyes aren't the best but it looks like it says Chevo something I don't know but a little railroad tractor or and I cannot read it hopefully you guys can see it a little bit better than I can there's a pretty good chance that I have it upside down as well. But anyway, pretty cool. Uh, back into a truck. Not that big a deal. I found a lot of interesting metal iron work. Uh, and again, that was my maiden voyage with the Mine Lab Xterra 705. And uh, it brings in a lot of tones. You just got to decide what you're going to dig and what you're not. Thunderhead 125 cleaned up nice. Uh, Put a new tip on it you could probably use it the blades are really sharp and in good shape i did find the tail to a dinosaur which was just in a hole whoops was just in a hole uh, my kids could probably identify this dinosaur just by looking at the short tail uh, and the raised fins so anyway did score this wonderful doorknob which is going in the trash probably Here's this three-piece ornate deal, and uh, I don't know, it's some kind of a, a holder of some sort. I don't know if that's the bottom, it's a drain, it's probably a little too ornate, it'd probably be up like that. And maybe that's even a foot to something, who knows. But three pieces to that, this little uh, buckle of some sort, I'm not sure what that was, but keys. Man, am I on a key run, I just keep finding them. I finally concluded that's a nine not a six little chain uh, this is pretty cool really hard to see but it does say plows P L O U G H S I can't read the rest it is just awful small print they must have had better eyes back in the day a uh, little copper a uh, couple buttons some chunks of lead not sure on this one thought it was a musket ball but you can see it is actually cut flat on this side. No patina to it at all. So we're just calling it a big old fat piece of lead. Not sure if this was something that had been fired or not. But again, no patina on it. Maybe a little bit here and there, but not enough to call it anything fancy. Only good coin. And again, man, if you think about 16 coins on an all-day hunt. And this, you get a little light to it. I didn't clean this one up all the way yet, but it's a 1919S. You can see it right there. So that's going to do it for this hunt. Uh, man, it was hard. We're getting ready to go again. I'm a few hunts behind uh, getting videos out, and I apologize. It's been rough while the CTX has been down. I do have it back in hand now, so uh, about five videos in, we go back to the CTX. So as always, God bless you guys. Um, dig them up and make sure to fill in your holes and we'll catch you next time.